Hello, I'm Tom Wilkinson, and welcome to the Thinking in English podcast, a podcast aimed at intermediate to advanced level English learners. On today's episode, we'll look at the recently signed Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, which brings together 15 Asian and Oceanic countries into the largest free trade agreement in the world. We'll discuss the idea of free trade, look at the details of the agreement, and finally think about some criticisms of RCEP. We're now on Instagram. Thinking in English is producing daily content focusing on improving your vocabulary, so make sure you check out the Thinking in English page. Thinking in English podcast on Instagram, or the link is in the description. Instagram is also probably the best way to contact me. So make sure you send me a message and I'll be sure to respond. All transcripts of the podcast are now available on the Thinking in English blog. The vocabulary list, comprehension questions and articles are all there for you to read. The link for the transcripts are also in the description, so please check it out. Now here is today's vocabulary list. As always, the written list is available in the description of the podcast and also on our blog, thinkinginenglish.blog. Trade. Trade. Trade is the activity of buying and selling or exchanging goods and or services between people or countries. For instance, 70% of the country's trade is with Europe. Gross domestic product. Gross domestic product, or GDP, is the total value of goods and services produced by a country in one year. For example, Apple makes more money than some countries' gross domestic products. Intricacy. Intricacy. Intricacy refers to complicated details. For example, I enjoyed the film, but I couldn't follow all the intricacies of the plot. Imports. Imports. Imports are goods brought by one country from another. For example, they have restrictions on foreign imports. Exports. Exports. An export is a product that you sell in or to another country. For example, coffee is one of Brazil's main exports. Tariff. Tariff. A tariff is a charge or list of charges either for services or goods entering a country. Prices and tariffs change all the time, so it's difficult to say what you will get for your money. Limitations. Limitations. If someone or something has limitations, they are not as good as they could be. For example, despite his limitations as a manager, he always brings projects to completion on time. And today's final word, component. Component. A component is a part that combines with other parts to form something bigger. For example, the factory supplies electoral, electrical components for cars. After over a decade of negotiations, Asian leaders officially signed the world's largest free trade deal earlier this week. 15 countries, including China, Japan, South Korea, Australia, New Zealand, 
and the 10 countries that make up the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, including uh, Malaysia and Indonesia, are included in the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. The result is a new free trade zone that is larger than the US-Mexico-Canada agreement and even more massive than the European Union. In fact, the combined populations of the 15 members make up almost a third of the global population and 30% of global gross domestic product. If you're not interested in economics, or maybe interested but don't know too much about this topic, then probably a lot of what I've said so far has gone over your heads. But don't worry and keep listening. By no means am I an economist or expert, but I'm going to try to introduce some basic economic ideas and facts about RCEP in an easy way to understand. Let's start with the idea of free trade. You've probably heard of free trade. It is the basic foundation of the modern global economy, brought up all the time in political discussions, and one of the motivations behind the European Union and the new RCEP. So, what is it? Well, while of course there are a multitude of varieties, specific details, and intricacies, Free trade is basically an economic policy that does not restrict imports or exports. From the ancient kingdoms of China and the philosopher states of Greece, right up until current times, government officials, elected politicians, intellectuals and economists have been debating and discussing why we trade and how we should trade. Here is a famous quotation from one of the fathers of modern economics, Adam Smith. If a foreign country can supply us with a commodity cheaper than we ourselves can make it, better buy it of them with some part of the produce of our own industry, employed in a way in which we have some advantage. So this is a little difficult, but let's think about it on a personal level. Do you make everything you use in your daily life yourself? Of course not. You probably buy food from the supermarket, clothes from department stores, electronics from Amazon or the internet. We trade our money for food, resources and objects. Free trade is this idea at an international level. If another country can make a product for cheaper, than it costs your own country to make, then you should buy it instead of making it. Instead of making everything themselves, countries should focus on making what they are best at or what they have a advantage in and trade for everything else. For this to work best, there should be no tariffs on imports or exports. Especially, you shouldn't have to pay to trade. In theory, this would allow the free trade system to be fully successful. And I'm not saying free trade is the best system or the only system available, but that it's the, cor the current popular system. RCEP is the largest free trade agreement in the world. So let's look at a few more details. RCEP is expected to eliminate up to 90% of import tariffs between the 15 members by the year 2040. It also includes common rules for intellectual property, telecommunications, financial services, e-commerce and professional services. Potentially, the biggest impact will come from the new rules of origin. This is also a complicated idea, but I'll try to paint a simple picture. Already, many members of RCEP have free trade agreements with each other. But there are limitations, and they can be really complicated limitations. 
For example, even within free trade agreements, products could face tariffs if they contain components made in other countries. The BBC News gave this, ex this example. A product made in Indonesia that contains Australian parts, for example, might, fa might face tariffs elsewhere in the ASEAN free trade zone. But RCEP is different. Under RCEP, there will be no tariffs so long as all the components are sourced from within the agreement. Another important aspect of RCEP is that it, it has allowed countries with historically bad relationships to finally join free trade agreements. China and Japan, Japan and South Korea, China and Australia relations in particular have been difficult to say the least. So here is today's final thought. RCEP is the largest free trade agreement in the world. But this does not mean it is without criticism. Former Australian Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull has described the agreement as low ambition. RCEP has been criticised for not going far enough on issues like labour, labour rights and the environment. It is also criticised as being a Chinese-led initiative, with China's record on human rights and environmental protection causing concern. We will have to wait to see how effective RCEP actually is. As mentioned earlier, many of the countries already have free trade agreements, so it is unclear how much further trade will increase. And there is also a question surrounding the involvement of the USA. Back under President Obama, the US had been leading their own Asia-Pacific free trade agreement. But this was quickly stopped by Trump. Will Biden bring the USA back into the Asian trade agreements? What is your opinion on trade and free trade? Please send me a message and let me know. Thank you for listening to today's episode of Thinking in English. Please share with your friends, check out our social media links in the description and send us a message. We're now on Instagram and posting daily content, helping you advance your vocabulary. And potentially starting from next week, I'm hoping to introduce some pronunciation classes as well. We appreciate all of your feedback. Uh, please have a look at our blog. Um, lots of good content on the blog. If you have any ideas for topics, future podcast guests or other learning formats, please let us know. Um, please send me a message. I really love listening and reading to all your messages. Oh, and leave, leave us a rating. Please leave us a rating, especially on Apple. That would really help us out. Thank you and see you next time. Thank you for listening to today's episode of Thinking in English. Please share with your friends, check out our social media links in the description and send us a message. We're now on Instagram and posting daily content, helping you advance your vocabulary. And potentially starting from next week, I'm hoping to introduce some pronunciation classes as well. We appreciate all of your feedback. Uh, please have a look at our blog. Um, lots of good content on the blog. If you have any ideas for topics, future podcast guests or other learning formats, please let us know. Um, please send me a message. I really love listening and reading to all your messages. Oh, and leave, leave us a rating. Please leave us a rating, especially on Apple. That would really help us out. Thank you and see you next time.